So penultimate race of the evening, 34 of 35. There's 100 good reasons to win this one. It is the dash for cash. The women's D mile, we've got Ruby Sanders from Ballarat YCW. Ann Martin from Old Scotch, Summer Alberson from Mentone, Kelly Langford, also Yasmeen Ostick Smith from St Stephen's, from Mornington, Charlotte O'Brien, from Bendigo Uni, uh, Ebony Woodward, Rosalind Walker from Glen Huntley, the rest of them are Glen Huntley just about, Fiona Noble, Abby Kenny, Cara Gilbert, Heather Carr, Lisa Derriban, and sorry, Derriban, and also I think from I think Ballarat YCW, Jacqueline McBratney Owen. So that's our 14 starters. And it's McBrackney Owen who's really charging out. She wants $100. This will pay for Maccas on the trip back home to Ballarat, that's for sure. So McBrackney Owen coming in for C time 618, which certainly isn't one of the quicker ones in this race. So putting it right out there, the young lady from Ballarat, she is really moving nicely. Abby Kenny is actually the top seed, but we saw Abby run the 800 earlier, so I'm not sure if that's going to take the sting out of her legs uh, this evening here. But we've got the Ballarat YCW crowd on the fence here, giving Jackie a bit of a hurry on here. She's got a gap of about 15 metres. It is Abby Kenny in Nick's position. Then Ostick Smith there, and Martin looking solid. Also Kelly Langford in the mix as well. So most of the runners still there. Then Cara Gilbert, she's working there with uh, Rosalind Walker. Little gap then to Lisa Derrimond. And then Heather Carr will be bringing up the rear, but gee, what an accomplished athlete Heather Carr is. Great to see Heather at Milers Club, actually. I haven't seen much of her at Milers over the years, but great to see the well-accomplished Masters athlete Heather Carr here on the blue track of Lakeside. Lots happening out front, and Abby Kenny's the one who's making the charge. I think we're going to have a new leader very soon, and we do. So Ostick Smith, also Noble, looking good too in the first of the Glen Huntley runners there. So he's making the move up as well. So it is Abby Kenny. She's starting to sniff those $100 as well now. So Kenny leads. Now we've got the 1-2 for Glenn Huntley because Noble decides she's going to go for a little piece of the action as well. And Martin's just sitting nicely at the back of Ostick Smith and you've got Langford just in the mix there as well. So we want to see a good race for the 100. Abby Kenny is the top seed. As I said, she's already got an 800 in the legs, which Fiona Noble doesn't. That gap just coming in a little bit. Ostick Smith looking pretty solid as well as they come through to get two to go. Lots can happen. Noble looks very determined. Ostick Smith moving well. Martin's got plenty of experience in those legs. Alberson's starting to move through. Also, you've got uh, Ebony Woodward from Bendig Bendigo Uni and also Charlotte O'Brien. So Jackie McBratney owen just drifting back through a little bit. Ruby Sanders coming through now. Another one of the Ballarat girls. But out front, not much has changed. Kenny, I think, is just starting to get a solid little lead there. So Noble's got a bit of work to do if she wants to bridge that gap. So Derrimon coming through to get two to go. Next one will be Heather Carr. As we see, Abby Kenny, Fiona Noble rounding about 600 out now. So Carr coming through to get two to go. As we see, rounding into the home straight now, Abby Kenny from Glen Huntley. Good to see the Glen Huntley colours so prevalent in this race this evening. Noble still moving along nicely. Ostick Smith clearly now in third. Gap then to Langford. Alberson just ahead of Martin. Then O'Brien and also Woodward. So one to go. 420. 422 for Noble. So two and a bit seconds in it. That's first to second. Another six, seven seconds back is Ostick Smith. Albertson's starting to get a little bit of a move on. She's alongside Langford now. O'Brien, Martin, Woodward in that order. Then we've got McBratney Owen. Ruby Sanders, another one of the Ballarat girls. She's starting to bear down on her. Then Gilbert. Alongside Gilbert will be Walker. So then two more of the Glen Huntley runners working well together. 
So down the back straight. So we see the first of the lapping there. I think Kenny's got this. This is the dash for cash. I can't see Abby Kenny losing this $100 now. She comes around 200 out. Noble's now about 25 metres back. As we see Lisa Daramon coming through now to get the lap, well, the bell as well. But around the bend the last time, Abby Kenny from Glen Huntley. Stretching out now about 30 metres ahead of Noble. I don't think that'll change. So we'll see Abby Kenny coming through to collect the $100 in the dash for cash tonight at VMC4. So a good race, particularly after doing an 800 earlier. So Abby Kenny's backed up beautifully here. But Noble's coming home again. So Kenny will take it. Noble will come through for second. Then Langford. Then Ostick Smith will be next. Good run from Albertson as well. And O'Brien, the Mornington runner. And Martin coming through now. Woodward from Bendigo Uni will be next. Let's get behind Heather Carr. Now she comes through to get the bell as well. As I said, one of the best Masters athletes in Australia. Still doing so, so well. And great to have her here at Miles Club. So one to go for Heather Carr. So good battle between the Ballarat girls. We see, saw McBratney Owen go out strongly. Sanders got ahead of her. Now they're having a stash down the home straight, but it will be Sanders to take the honours tonight. McBratney Smith settling just under the 6.30 mark. Cara Gilbert coming through next. She'll be stopping the clock around 6.37. Rosalind Walker, another one of the Glen Huntley runners coming through. So she's going to be well under the seven minute mark here for the mile. So good running there for Rosalind. Lisa Derriman into the home straight now. And in the back straight, Heather Carr still going beautifully. So we'll be giving her plenty of support as she comes into the home straight the last time. But Lisa Derriman also now finishing off for the Glen Huntley Club. Such strong representation in this race and throughout the night here at Milers Club number four. So great work there, Lisa. Just over the seven minute mark. So 200 out now for Heather Carr. So not often we see the 70 pluses here at Miles Club, but it's something we do like to see. So hopefully a nice little hit out for Heather before she heads to Masters Championships, both Victorian and Australian, where she is just a metal machine. So get behind Heather Carr, this is great running. As I said, great to see her here at Miles Club. And we've seen some great female performances with Trina Bissett in the 800, and that goes all the way through now to Heather Carr in this mile race. And she'll stop the clock right on the 8.20 mark, just under.